y'all, it's Laura, and I am back with Scraplift Sunday, and today we're doing a mixed media version of Scraplift Sunday, because I haven't done that in a while, so I thought it would be fun to go ahead and break out my paints and do a little bit of swatching in the background. As you saw at the beginning, this layout is absolutely gorgeous, and while this effect was created with paper on the original layout, I really wanted to try it with paint. So I'm using a combination of Vicky Booten paints and some acrylics from my stash. And I wanted to use this gorgeous light pink that perfectly matches the color in my stash kit this month. And then this gorgeous, beautiful sunny yellow that also just ties in gorgeous. But for the blue, it was a little bit trickier because I was going to have to mix two different colors to get the shade of blue that I really wanted. So I did use a little bit of this kind of a light teal from Vicky Booten and then mixed it with some cobalt blue acrylic paint to get a nice medium blue. It's almost a periwinkle. It's just such a really beautiful blue. And it was just, oh, love it. I just love this shade of blue. So once that had all dried, went ahead and grabbed my T-square ruler and this lovely pokey pad and this little pokey tool from Amy Tangerine. I went ahead and poked a bunch of holes to create some long lines. And you guessed it, we're going to be doing some stitching today because I wanted to include some sequins and some lines that kind of reflected that same look that was going on in the original and she used her pattern paper to create those lines that kind of look like it's things hanging down. I think also she may have had some pom-poms on there that were suspended from the top and I don't have pom-poms nor do I want to use pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing some stitching instead and this is just a very basic straight stitch and nothing fancy nothing too difficult and adding sequins as I went now I'm not gonna make you watch that entire process and I am using a mix of several Spiegel mom scraps sequin mixes I know that I had out happy vibes and peaches and cream and he said she said I think we are royals maybe as well and I was just picking out the colors that I wanted to kind of match this sort of a, a reverse rainbow <laughs> effect that I've created here and those sequins are so sparkly and so beautiful and they really are my go-to so now that I've got all of the sequins attached I've grabbed out these die cut flowers and these are mixes of pattern papers and scraps from my kit and I've just used several different dyes of florals to cut them out. I'm going to layer them up and just start adding them on. I want this to look like a bit of a floral explosion at the top, which is the general idea with this layout. And the original I think was done with stamps. So that's another option for you if you want to get a variety of specific colors and you have the inks rather than the papers, that is certainly a good idea. And I'm starting with the largest florals first to make sure I have room for them and then adding in more florals as I go along. Now I did die cut some of these gold foil leaves as well just to kind of pop in with a little bit of glam gold and something a little bit different on the page. I didn't want it to be uh, just so one tone because otherwise it will look that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the yellows and the blues. And as you can see, when I build this layout, I always start with that biggest floral and figure out where it's gonna go first. And then just start sandwiching in those other florals. That way it has a cohesive look. It has a blend of the sizes. And I did use two different shapes of florals as well so that it was a little bit different. And I tried to use some very subtle patterns. I didn't want the florals to be center stage. Even though they are a very prominent feature on this layout, I don't want them to be the focus. I'm always going to choose for my photos to be the focus, even though in this case I'm using two small photos, which I don't normally go for, but they were sitting on my desk left over from a mini album project. And I thought, you know what? I just want to get these used. They're cute, cute pictures, and this may not even go in an album. I might even frame it. 
<laughs> so that's definitely a possibility because it did come out really, really beautiful. I haven't done a layout like this in quite a while with stitching and paint and florals just exploding off the page and it was so much fun. It moved so much more quickly than I expected once I got everything cut out, set up, ready to go. I don't do a ton of mixed media layouts because you have to wait for them to dry and then what? <laughs> it's <laughs> I am 100% more comfortable with paper than paint, but I do like to experiment and I like to push myself just a little bit. And when I saw this layout in Miranda's suggestions, I was like, yes, we need to do this. That one would be beautiful if I could replace the paper with paint and really, really push myself a little bit. Now, one of my tricks to making sure that my photos pop is to make sure that my photos are different in some way from the background. And in this case, these photos are rather dark. They were taken inside on my girl's first day of school and they're really cute little close-up shots, but I was more concerned about they were smiling, they were happy, and not really where we were or what was going on as far as a story is concerned. It was more just cute pictures of my girls. And so they are small and it is something that bugs me a little. I kind of wish they were about three by four, but <laughs> they're not, so we're making them work. I did grab some flair from my kit that I am trying to get onto all of my layouts this month. It's not going to happen because I don't have that much flair, but I am hoping to use it up anyway. So I've grabbed some bits and pieces from the ephemera pack and the stickers, and I'm just going to try to color block all of the embellishments that I'm using into those colors. Now that flare right there with a the little bear is not going to stay. He's going to end up getting pulled off because I felt like it was drawing way too much attention away from the photos. So that's something that you need to look at as you're creating is to keep in mind what is the focus? What is the focal point? What do you want to draw your audience's eye first? And for me, that's usually the photos. And I'm not typically going to put something on the layout that's going to draw your eye away from the photos so quickly. I also managed to include two of the little shaker uh, frames that I made for my DIY embellishments this month. So if you'd like to see the link for that video, I will put it in the description below along with the supplies that I used for this layout. And I'm just taping down all the bits and pieces, tucking in some other embellishments in with the florals, some little lemons, some other little florals, just to make it look a little bit more layered and have a little bit more depth and be interesting at the top and not just plain florals. This look is definitely very artsy and eclectic and I really, really enjoy it. And it's nice to do that sometimes. That's just a little departure from your own personal style. Just to try different things and to push yourself out of that little box that we tend to get stuck in. So I am moving on to the fine details, the best part of the layout, which for me means scattering and splattering to put some little words next to my daughter's photos because there's not a lot of room left here. <laughs> <laughs> for a title. I did consider doing some yellow letters down the center, but I do not have yellow letters because yellow is just not an alpha that I tend to buy. So instead, I'm going to add in some journaling and it's nothing too heavy because like I said, I may go ahead and frame this and put it in my room for inspiration. And so I'm just going to talk about how I love, love pictures of my girls smiling and how they just really make my day to see those little memories of their happiness and joy just overflowing. I'm going to add some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold, which is getting used up rather quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right. I do keep hoping she's going to come out with a new and improved one, but so far I have not seen that happen and we'll have to replace it pretty soon. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for still shots and until next time. Bye.